Good morning, Virginie, or good afternoon. Um, I think it's afternoon for you. It's about 7.54 a.m. where I am, and today is Sunday, February 2nd. So what I'm going to do, I've been working um, on this animation project that was a revisit from one of uh, the assignments that we did um, in, in your class um, a few semesters back, and uh, I think I've made some pretty good progress with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a YouTube file that you'll be able to see the video uh, yourself and uh, it will be rendered. Um, it's not all the way finished, though, because I'm still there's still uh, two more scenes that I'm still kind of working through to get the lighting and the rendering and everything. But I'm just going to show you what I have and show you what I'm still looking to improve on. And uh, just kind of get some thoughts from you as to what you think uh, should be done going forward with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play what I have. And then I'll just kind of talk to you about what I've done and just kind of get your thoughts on this. So here goes. Lester, you can spill beer on the couch. Okay, so that's all that I have as of right now. So um, the it's just a couch part comes after that. So I'm going to work on that um, next. That's the next thing that I'm working on. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that I'm doing this um, for a Pixar internship and the deadline is next Sunday, which is a week from today. So I believe I should be able to wrap this up in that time period because I've really been working on this a lot. Um, since the last time that I sent you a message. But anyway, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I did since the last revision that I sent you. I thought it would be kind of neat to just kind of add an exterior scene at the beginning. So I found a house and I um, put that in Maya and I just did a slow camera pan. I think what I'm going to do um, in addition to this is maybe have some birds chirping in the background. Um, I, I may possibly see if there is a way that I can kind of blur the background a little bit. So, you know, the where the blue of the sky meets the green of the grass, you know, I might see if there is a way that I can actually just kind of blur that a little bit. Um, and, I'm you know, if you think that's a good idea or if you or if that's even possible, all I did here, I just used the image plane and uh, this what you see is just uh, the geometry from, you know, the 3D geometry. So I just got an image plane back here behind the house. So, but I am going to, I think it would be kind of cool to maybe just have some birds chirping just instead of just the complete silence. So I'm going to do that. Now for this part, um, what I did here, I did make the correction with the eyes for the female character right at the beginning. <laughs> And you can see her eyes uh, not in the corner anymore. So I did make that correction. And uh, I also um, made the correction of the way her head and, and chest was angled. I think um, I can't really draw on this, but if you can see the cursor that I have, what I thought about was just trying to get a curve like a line of action going. So um, that's the position that I have for her as she's laying down right there. And I did add, um, as she turns back around, I added a slight eye blink that wasn't there before. And I think that actually helps a lot. And then as she's coming up, I have her right shoulder right here coming up also. And I still have her coming up and still coming up. And then she pauses now. I wanted to bring this to your attention. You, It's really very, very subtle. But um, when I was originally working on this in your class, I ran into a problem where when he was picking up the bottle, 
I had an issue with the uh, constraint system. So what I end up long to make a long story short, I ended up creating two separate my files and merging them together. So that's why there's just a subtle change right about there. Um, and it used to be a lot worse than that. It was really, really noticeable. I think it's a little better now. I mean, I'll get your opinion on that when you reply to this. But anyway, so I have um, him, you know, you can see now um, his hand is not, um, let's see, right around here, the male character's hand, it's not as it was. I think before you could kind of see it, you know, um, going through the pillow or something like that. And now, so I kind of hid his hand um, at a certain part during the animation. And then when he's getting up, he just kind of pulls his hand back and just kind of passes through and so what I did with Claire um, at the end the female character instead of her just having her head just come forward the way it did I actually added this animation where her upper body is twisting it's like her let's see that's her right shoulder this coming let's see well it's really not even her shoulder I believe it's just her upper torso is coming slightly to the right and she's actually getting up a little bit as well she's actually getting up right there so um i thought that was probably a better look for her instead of just having her head just droop forward like the way it was now you can see her torso kind of twisting as she's you know getting um getting higher into the frame and the other thing that I did here I want to talk about what I did with the male character so what I did with the male character here I um, made sure initially right here there was a problem where his arm his uh, let's see that's his uh, that's his right arm it was moving really um, it was moving a lot right when the animation started on this particular scene so I did I toned it down I don't know if you can tell or not but now I just made that right arm just a little more subtle and also what I did with him was um, let's see let me just go so the jerk that he used to do with his head I settled that down a little bit too because I think right here is where it was like a big jump the way it used to so I toned that down just a little bit and I took, let me tell you this too. It took a long time to get those eyes because you could really see it when, um, when his eyes were rendered, his eye was, it was almost like this eye was like kind of down here and this eye was kind of up and it took a while to figure out how to fix that. The way that I fixed that was, um, I just went to the nerve circle for that was controlling his eyes and um, I took out some kind of way there was some um, there was some scaling constraints no excuse me there was some scaling uh, scaling keys that were on there I don't know how that got there so I took off the scaling keys and you know just anything any other keys that didn't really need to be there and I just moved them eye level as much as I could and that seemed to clear that up a lot so I think the mistake was maybe trying to go to each individual eye and then delete, you know, or work with and work with keys on each individual. eye. I think that was the mistake. I think that staying with the um, the nerve circle was the direction that I really wanted to go as far as just making sure that his eyes were OK. And so what I did also um, here, I added an eye blink which I think, and that was your suggestion, and I think that works really well. Um, I think there's the eye blink right there that I have. And by the way, this is the rendered version that you can see. Um, and so he gets up and he removes the bottle and he leaves the frame. Now, one thing before I move to the next scene um, that I wanted to share with you is that I'm thinking about possibly when I rendered this, I did not do depth of field. And the reason I didn't do depth of field was because 
I felt like all you really see is the wall behind them and they're on the couch and there's the pillows. And I didn't really think there was enough. I didn't think the scene was big enough or the shot was big enough in order to do depth of field. Now, I could probably try it, but this is just a wall right behind the sofa. So I didn't really think I really needed depth of field. But you tell me, I mean, I may have to re-render it if that's the case. But let me know if you think this shot works as it is without depth of field or do I really need to go back and add depth of field to this? So moving on to the next shot. Now this shot, you can clearly see there's depth of field. And I think, you know, I, I think I'm really proud of the way this looks in terms of the depth of field. I think that the character that's talking here, which is the male character, um, he is the main point of the focus. So Claire is out of focus. So I have him in focus and I have the background out of focus. And I think that part, me personally, I think that part looks fantastic. Um, I also have a picture of a sunset in the background that's blurred out and you can see the, the lamp that's blurred out in the background and there's some furniture there. So I think this part looks pretty good, but I, I look forward to hearing what you say. Now, as far as the animation goes, um, here's what I've done with this. Um, I don't have the original in front of me um, and I can send that to you as well. But what I did here was I had him to there was some there was a little bit of jerkiness that was going on initially. Um, it wasn't real bad, but it was some parts where it just didn't look really smooth. And so what I did was I smoothed out the curves. There was some jerkiness maybe around the right shoulder, I think it was. And I smoothed that out in the um, graph editor. And also what I did was when he says, so what? It's just a couch. I had him to and you can't see me right now, but I had him to basically, um, you know, as he's throwing his arms up saying, so what? It's just a couch. I had him to kind of put his chest out and kind of like, you know, lean, not lean back, but just kind of use his chest as, you know, pushing his chest out forward to kind of emphasize the, well, so what? It's just a couch. And so that was, that was not there before. And I thought that probably helped a little bit. And you can kind of see it right here um, at the height of where he says, so what? It's just a couch. And then you can see when he brings his arms down, you can see how it looks like his chest kind of just goes back to normal. So I did that. Um, what else did I do here? I think... Let's see, I think and, and then too, at the beginning of this animation, there was another eye problem that was going on where his eyes were crossed right here. And so I fixed that. And now, you know, that part, I think, looks better. The only thing that I think I might go back and do to this, and it wouldn't really require a lot of rendering, just a few frames. I may add an eye blink there. That, that's the only thing that I can see that I may end up doing. Um, but I think this part looks okay, but I look forward to seeing what you have to say. And with the Claire animation, I didn't really change anything. I thought that the way she kind of comes up, I think that looks good, um, from my perspective, but you tell me what you think about that. And finally, here is the final scene that I've rendered. Now, of course, there's more to this animation than these two scenes. The next part is where he grabs the pillow and says, it's just a couch. And I don't think I'm going to have to really do a whole lot with that. I think I just need to add my lights to that and render it because I think the animation itself looks good. But I'll render that probably today and maybe have another video later today or tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow. And I may be able to share that one with you as well and give your thoughts. But anyway, so in this part, um, I did not change anything here at all. The only thing that I did was made sure that. Uh, depth of field was added, having the male character out of focus and uh, Claire, the one who's talking, she's the main character. And as far as the animation goes, I thought the animation for the most part was really good. I didn't really see much that needed to change here, so I didn't touch it at all. Now, if you see that there's anything else that could change, let me know and uh, I'll try to make those changes. But the only thing that I did do now, obviously, you can tell this is a rendered scene. So this is rendered. You can see the 
the the lamp is somewhat out of focus she's in focus and of course tom is out of focus so i think the depth of field looks great right there and um so that's what i've done up to this point i think this is really looking good and uh just let me know what you think about this so the next thing like i said just to recap um i'm submitting this for a internship for Pixar and the deadline is next Sunday which is a week from today which is February 2nd so um, I should be able to wrap this up this week um, this should not because there's only after this scene there's the scene where he says it's just a couch and then he says this isn't life this is just stuff and the more um, I forgot exactly what he said the, I think he says something about um, he says the more you the better you realize that the I don't remember um but anyway there's only like that scene and then he says well honey that's just nuts and then that's when the scene ends so I wasn't really planning a whole lot of animation with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um just go ahead and render that render those last scenes and i'll show share that with you and if there's anything else that needs to be done with that just let me know and i will make those changes but i hope you're doing well and thank you for taking the time to uh to look at this and i will have you an update hopefully tomorrow so have a great day thank you